Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll, an eclectic channel where we look at eclectic games. New, old, good, bad, modern, retro, sci-fi, fantasy, you name it, we'll check it out. And today, we're looking at Trump, the board game. Now, before you start chanting, make America great again, or for that matter, before you start mocking poor working class Americans for being deplorable, don't. Please don't don't. It's a board game, not politics. Leave it alone. This particular edition came out in 2004, when Trump was made famous with the reality TV show The Apprentice. Now, as you can see, it's actually a fairly striking box. Trump, back then, had an ego. And that, to be fair, is actually part of the charm of this game. If you look at it, the very front part of the box, his face literally takes up half of it. His name adorns the front, so you don't miss it. You also can't miss it on this side, this side, this side, or this side. No matter what angle you pick this box up at, you see Trump, the name. As for the rest of the game, well, it is actually quite pretty. It's a nice, chunky game. The instruction itself has Trump, his face literally all over the front page, to the actual money, where it's Trump's name and face on 100 million, 50 million and 10 million notes, to the actual cards that play in the game, where Trump's name is literally on every single card, and there is 60 of them, to the actual playing pieces, which are little T's, to the actual dice, and this, I have to say, is one of my personal favourites. You don't roll a six, you roll a T. To the actual board itself, where you have a big F of T right here in the middle, along with Trump's name on all four corners. To the actual money tray, which is the first thing I have listed that does not have Trump's name on it. But don't worry, they fixed that. They have a nice little sticker here, so you can put it on the actual money tray. To the final thing in the game, which is the properties, which is the only thing that does not have Trump's name, because it's the only thing that Trump can't own. You own that. So, how do I make my first billion dollars? Well, let's check out how you play the game. So. Trump the game is a game for three to four players, and the aim of the game is to have as much money as humanly possible at the end. Now, there's three ways to make money. The first is the classic Monopoly way. You own a property, people land on the property, money goes from the bank in lieu of rent into your hand. The second way is if you own a card that matches one of your properties. If that's the case, you can play this card on your turn and collect the amount of money on the card. And the third and final way is if you own a card that belongs to another player's property. If that's the case, you can sell that card to that player for an undisclosed amount. However, if you don't reach a deal, the card gets trashed, discarded, and no one wins. So you better study up on the art of the deal. Moving around the board is simple. You roll the dice, you move seven spaces, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Depending on what space you land on, different actions happen. If you roll a T, you get to steal a trump card from another player. If you roll two T's, you can steal two cards from another player, or a card each from two players. When you land on a property, regardless of whether it's owned or not, money goes from the bank into the property. So this can be quite interesting, as it can elevate the value of a building and lower it. And the end of the game is when the last property is sold. So, in conclusion, is this a good game? Is this a game I want in my collection? And the answer to both those questions is yes. It's a good game. It's not a great game, but it's not bad. It's fun, it's casual, it looks nice. And as for having it in your collection, I mean, why not? It's a novelty. It's certainly a conversation starter. Every gaming club that I've brought this to, everyone has been interested in it. 
It's fun, it's colourful, it's bright, it's simple, it's easy to teach, and anyone can play it. My only critique would be the fired cards. There's too many of them, and there's not enough of the Donald cards, but that is something that is quite easily fixed. I would give this game a 7 out of 10. So if you see it, and you see it for maybe 20 euros or less, I'd pick it up, because it is at the very least worth that. So, in conclusion, thank you very much for watching the show. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. If you didn't like the show, well, thank you for at least watching this far. We do appreciate it. Catch us next time when we're looking at Fallout, the board game. And until that time, I hope you have a good day, a good night, and look after yourself. God bless. You.